Hi, this video is to show you how to generate service reports. First, let me tell you what service report is. Service report is nothing but a summary for the customer from the user side uh, telling that what works are performed at client end. So, service reports can be generated by work order, work order line item or service appointments. Now, to generate the service report template, you must go to your setup and in quick find search for service reports. Under field service, you will get service reports template. When you click to service reports template, you will see that there is a one standard template already present here. You can either replicate it by creating a new and choosing the existing template as standard report template or you can just add it to that particular standard record itself. Now there are four things that you can do. First is to add the fields like I can add number of fields in my service reports. Right now I am adding the actual duration to my appointment information or I would say I would also add duration here. Now the second thing that you can do is add the related list or add the data appearing in related list. I am altering the data as I am adding the duration field in my selected fields. Then the second option here is to add the filters. You can add the filters like there is a use case where I want to have only those work order line items that are completed. So I would choose the status here and include it to complete it and insert it. Then there is the sorting option also available for related list. There are a number of criteria given on which basis you can sort the data and click OK. Then the third option here is add the signature. So the signature is already added in your standard service report template. Now if your use case don't require any signature, just you can just drag and drop and remove the signature field from here. Then the last is to add the logo. So if you are building any component or if you are building the service report for your organization, you may want to add your company's logo. So to do so, drag and drop the text field here, text or image field property here. Choose the image icon and choose the file. Right now, I am choosing the Crea Consulting logo as my service report logo and click insert. A uh, second thing to make sure is that any logo that you are choosing must fit inside in this white window otherwise the area of image that is going outside of this white window will get auto cropped. Now click OK and save. Second step is make sure the template that you have created must be active. So click active button here and it's activated. Now second thing that you must look for is service create service report button. So if you go to your service appointment object. In its page load you will get a create service report button now I already have enabled it or you can say drag and drop it here in my mobile uh, Salesforce mobile and lightning experience action this is the fir first thing to do the second thing is to add the service report related list that I have done too now click the save button now the third thing is to you know show the service or uh, like generate the service report actually let me show you here if I choose a service appointment 004 and hit the create service report button now get get the default digital signature provide the name and sign
hit the save button click done and generate service report now the service report has been generated so let's go to our record and look for it if i go to my related list of the appointment for which i have created here is the service report that has been generated so that is how your pdf will look like let me open it so that you can have a much clearer view so this is how your service report will look like with the signature received from the customer so that's it for the service reports now thank you we'll have much further details about other op options in field service in our next session thank you